The aviation industry is on the brink of a revolution, and it can come from Airbus and CFM International. They have teamed up to develop a new generation engine that could completely change the game. These engines promise to be significantly more fuel efficient and environmentally friendly than anything currently available. Then, is this the end of traditional jet engines as we know them? Join today's episode to dive deep into Airbus's groundbreaking vision for the future and explore why their engines could completely reshape the aviation landscape. Let's get started. Imagine gazing out the airplane window on your next flight, only to see something radically different, a sleek, open rotor engine with exposed blades slicing through the air instead of the traditional enclosed jet engines that we're all familiar with. It's what I want to talk about today, open rotor technology. At the heart of this bold innovation are two of aviation's biggest players, Airbus and CFM International. Airbus has consistently led the way in sustainable aviation, but its latest collaboration with CFM International marks a truly ambitious new chapter. Together, they are pushing the boundaries of what's possible with open rotor technology. About CFM International, a 50-50 joint venture between GE Aviation and Safran launched the Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines, RISE program, to help the aerospace industry achieve net zero emissions. This program builds on decades of research to make engines quieter, cleaner, and more efficient, accelerating the development of next generation propulsion systems. Among the RISE program's key concepts is the open fan engine, which aims to improve propulsive efficiency by allowing a much larger fan diameter. So what exactly is open rotor technology? Unlike conventional jet engines, which house their fan blades within a nacelle, the open fan design features exposed blades and advanced variable pitch stators. These larger blades move a significantly greater volume of air, creating more thrust with less fuel. The open fan concept thus achieves unmatched levels of fuel efficiency, while maintaining performance comparable to current single-aisle aircraft flying at speeds up to Mach 0.8. Although the RISE engine remains in its demonstrator phase, Airbus is already exploring its potential as the successor to its A320neo under the next-generation single-aisle program. Airbus CEO Guillaume Faurie has expressed optimism, describing the open rotor architecture as very promising. Airbus plans to test the RISE engine aboard its AA380 testbed aircraft in the second half of this decade, signaling its commitment to integrating this technology into the future of commercial aviation. A critical aspect of the RISE program's development is its collaboration with GKN Aerospace. Known for its cutting-edge expertise in aero engines, GKN contributes advanced designs and technologies, including cooled nozzle extensions and turbine components. These innovations are key to validating the RISE engine's performance and ensuring its scalability for future applications. While many might expect such groundbreaking technology to focus on wide-body, long-haul aircraft, Airbus is taking a different approach. Its primary target for open-rotor engines is the narrow-body market, the workhorses of global aviation that operate short- to medium-haul routes. Narrow-body jets account for most flights worldwide, so improving their fuel efficiency could significantly reduce global aviation emissions while also lowering costs for airlines. Despite its potential, open rotor technology faces hurdles, particularly in noise reduction and safety. If you've ever stood near a traditional jet engine, you know how loud they can be even with blades enclosed in a protective casing. With exposed blades spinning at high speeds, open rotor engines raise immediate concerns about noise, especially in densely populated areas where urban airports enforce strict noise regulations. In the past, noise issues were a major reason open rotor engines weren't considered viable for commercial aviation, as the exposed blades generated more turbulence and, without casing to muffle the sound, early designs produced noise levels far too high for passenger flights or urban airports. This noise pollution would have been a deal breaker for airlines operating in major city hubs, where noise restrictions are tight. For decades, this seemed like an insurmountable problem, sidelining open rotor engines despite their efficiency potential. Safety is the other major challenge. With exposed blades, concerns about handling bird strikes or foreign object damage are valid. Traditional turbofan engines have an outer casing that provides a level of protection, which open rotor engines lack. To address this, 
Airbus and CFM are conducting extensive tests and simulations to ensure these engines are as safe as enclosed designs, if not safer. They are using advanced materials, rigorous stress testing, and additional protective measures to ensure open rotor engines meet the highest safety standards before they ever carry a passenger. The concept of open rotor engines is not new. It has been explored by researchers and engineers for decades. In the 1980s, GE Aviation and NASA collaborated on the GE 36 unducted fan, a groundbreaking open rotor engine design. Tested on aircraft like the McDonnell Douglas MD-80 and the Boeing 727, the GE 36 demonstrated impressive fuel savings of up to 20 to 30 percent compared to traditional jet engines. However, concerns about noise, safety, and a lack of stringent environmental regulations at the time prevented its adoption. Similarly, the Soviet Union developed the Kuznetsov NK-93, another open rotor engine which achieved high fuel efficiency and underwent extensive testing. Yet, geopolitical and economic challenges, including the collapse of the Soviet Union, halted its progress. In the late 1980s, NASA also researched open rotor designs through its advanced turboprop project, which explored aerodynamic and acoustic innovations. Although promising, this project faced the same hurdles of high noise levels and limited commercial demand. Despite these setbacks, the potential of open rotor technology has always been evident. The renewed interest in the 21st century, driven by rising fuel costs and the push for greener aviation, has given new momentum to the idea, and recent technological advances are changing the game. Airbus and CFM International have invested heavily in cutting-edge noise reduction innovations, renewing hope for open rotor viability. These developments include several key areas of focus, such as redesigning blade shapes for optimal aerodynamics. Engineers are now creating more streamlined blades that reduce turbulence significantly, directly impacting noise levels. Combined with new sound-absorbing materials and integrated noise-canceling technologies, these innovations give Airbus and CFM confidence that open rotor engines could eventually meet or even exceed current noise standards. As these technologies continue to advance, Airbus believes it can reduce noise levels to meet requirements not only for rural airports, but also for the most regulated urban hubs. If successful, this could mark a turning point in open rotor adoption, making them a viable option for airlines operating in noise-sensitive areas. But what does that mean for the aviation industry as we know it? Before going to answer this question, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. You'll be helping us grow the channel and be among the first to catch our new videos as they go live. If Airbus and CFM International crack the code on these challenges, open rotor engines could truly revolutionize the aviation industry. In a time when airlines are grappling with fluctuating fuel prices and mounting pressure to cut carbon emissions, the need for more efficient solutions has never been greater. Imagine a 30% reduction in fuel consumption not only saving airlines billions of dollars every year, but also helping them meet strict environmental regulations. And the benefits don't stop there. Open rotor engines could enable planes to fly farther on less fuel, unlocking new route possibilities. Shorter flights could become more cost-effective, while longer ones could become more profitable. This innovation has the potential to reshape the global aviation network, offering new opportunities for airlines and passengers alike. While we're not quite there yet, the future isn't as far off as it seems. Airbus and CFM are already testing open rotor prototypes and the results are looking promising. Over the next decade, we could see this technology powering the next generation of narrowbody aircraft, fundamentally changing how we travel. With Airbus's bold vision and relentless pursuit of innovation, the push toward a greener, more efficient aviation industry is gaining momentum. The skies of tomorrow won't just feature sleek new designs, they'll be powered by engines that redefine what's possible. Open rotor technology could set new benchmarks for efficiency, safety, and sustainability. This revolution is just beginning, and it's set to transform the future of air travel as we know it. So, what does the future hold for traditional jet engines? Is it the end? The future of traditional jet engines is likely to evolve rather than vanish entirely while open rotor engines promise revolutionary efficiency and sustainability. Traditional engines still have a critical role to play, at least for the foreseeable future. Companies like Pratt and Whitney 
and Rolls-Royce, for instance, have shown little interest in open fan technology. Instead, they appear focused on advancing engines with traditional housings or, or nacelles, improving their performance and adapting them to work with sustainable aviation fuels or hydrogen. These innovations could allow traditional engines to remain relevant, especially for applications where open rotor technology may not yet be feasible, such as long haul, wide body aircraft, or urban airports with strict noise regulations. Even Boeing has expressed reservations about the readiness of CFM's open rotor project for the near future. This signals that some major players in the aviation industry are not yet convinced that open rotor engines are the immediate path forward, opting instead to refine existing technologies. As the aviation industry pushes towards stricter environmental targets, traditional jet engines will face increasing pressure to adapt or seed ground to newer innovations. However, they are unlikely to disappear entirely. Instead, traditional engines could coexist with open rotor and other emerging technologies, evolving to meet specific needs while the next generation of propulsion systems reshapes the skies. So, what do you think? Could open rotor engines be the breakthrough that finally makes aviation more sustainable? Or do you think another technology will take the lead? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have a safe flight. And see you then.